Let's add the fractions 1 fourth and 3 eighths. So first off, we need to get this denominator here to be the same. We need a common denominator. Then with fractions, we'll just add the numerators, keep the denominator the same, and we'll be done. Why don't we do this? Why don't we say 2 times 4? 2 times 4 equals 8, and then we have 8 over here already. And we can't just multiply the denominator by 2. We need to also multiply the numerator by 2. That's because 2 divided by 2. It's just 1. So we're not changing the value, just the way it's represented. Now, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. And 2 eighths, that's the same thing as 1 fourth. They're equivalent fractions. But we have our 3 eighths here. And with fractions, we're going to just keep that denominator the same. And then we add the numerators. 2 plus 3 is 5. So in answer to our question, 1 fourth plus 3 eighths, that equals 5 eighths. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.